in this video, I'm going to talk about how even as a small one person micro business entrepreneur funnel builder, you can absolutely change the world. I also want to talk a little bit about having the confidence to think that you can change the world. Your vision should be much bigger than just to earn a living. Even if you want to earn a living, your vision needs to be much bigger than that to be able to reach that goal in the first place. I've talked about this in a previous video, how we have like creativity and our vision and daydreaming stamped out of us. And then we're told, stay in your lane. There's no room at the top for anyone. Who are you to say you're an expert? I get it now. Still, I get tons of people emailing me, commenting and stuff saying, you're not really a marketing funnel expert. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Whatever you might think. You need to have a vision that changes something within your environment. It doesn't have to be global. You don't have to think, I want to eliminate cancer or, or eliminate malaria. It might be that you just think that email marketing is too complex for flower shops. You might think that e-commerce stores need to be better at remarketing, or you might scale that out and think, I believe that business owners should be able to spend more time with their family. Maybe you feel like you should just stick to your station and people say, oh, their boots have got too big. Who are you to start producing this kind of content and thinking how you can change the world? The reality is that you have to have something in the front of your mind that's this forward facing vision where you think this is a change that I want to see in the world. People who are afraid, scared and weak, dare I say, aren't willing to make that kind of change because frankly, I believe they're selfish. If you don't want to make the world a better place, then you shouldn't be doing any of this. Your job as a funnel builder, even as someone who builds marketing funnels and has marketing tactics, is to make the world a better place. One of the reasons that we don't see results that we would measure up as successful, such as number of customers, amount of revenue, size of the house, new car, going away on holidays, all of these metrics that are measurable that often define us as successful. If you don't have enough of those, it's because your commitment and your vision for the change that you want to make in the world isn't strong enough. I could give you all the marketing spiel and the sales training and sales coaching in the world. You could read all the books that you want, but if you're not willing to commit to serving a group of people and changing something in your environment or your market, no matter how big or small, you are always going to struggle to attract the things that you want to feel successful. There's a huge misconception that some people are just born great or just have these massive ideas or they are these visionaries and every single one of them will tell you that People told them they were insane at one point. There's no way in the world that a small software company that didn't even code it from scratch, they bought this software, changed it a little bit, and then sold it, is now able to potentially eliminate malaria from the world. That, by the way, is Bill Gates. He didn't code the first version of Windows. He bought it from somebody else, licensed it, and changed a few bits and pieces. And he was like, I want to see a PC in every home. That was his vision. I want to see a PC in every home. Because he understood the difference that would make. People would be able to work from home. It would be more efficient. You'd be able to entertain your families. He saw this vision. But people would say, dude, you're just a software developer. And you didn't even build this piece of software. And yet that's your vision. It's really easy to have a go at people who have got larger visions, but the commitment to that vision and the commitment to serving an audience and making the world a better place, that is what brings all these other results that people deem as successful. You don't have to change the world on a global scale. In fact, if anything, the successful businesses that do have massive amounts of change focus on a very specific micro niche. Even if you were to affect a thousand people just on Facebook and say, I believe that business owners should have more time to spend with their family. I think that e-commerce businesses that sell plastic free goods should be able to make a bigger impact in the world. Whatever it is that you believe that you want to see in the world, whatever are the changes that you want to see, that's who you need to serve. That's who you need to go after. As tactical funnel builders, we are uniquely placed to help people get those things, to help people broaden their audience, find more customers, find more leads, make a difference. If you go after businesses that themselves are making a change in the world and help them increase their impact and the change they have in the world, you will attract all of the things that you want. One of the things to remember is to set goals for your potential, not where you are now. The biggest mistake I see people make is they set, they set really small, mediocre goals that they could reach now. That's not the point of a goal. The point of a goal is to set something that you could reach if you reached your potential. The goal is the test of your potential. Where could you be? What could you do if you were the best possible version of yourself? If you were able to change anything in the world, what is it that you're going to change? What is it that you're going to reach 
if you were the best possible version of yourself. That's the type of goal that you should be setting. Specificity with your audience, as I mentioned, will help with a larger vision. What's really interesting is that what started with sales training just for funnel builders has now evolved into sales training for universities and course-based businesses and insurance companies and translation companies and telesales companies and travel companies. My specificity on one, changing one marketplace and changing the way that people sell marketing funnels has allowed me to broaden my scope, but it's through focusing on one area first. You're defined by who you help, not what you do. You will attract more leads and sales and customers if you are clear about who you help. You don't build marketing funnels. What you're trying to do is make the world a better place. You're trying to make a change. What's that change that you're trying to make? The exercise is often interesting for the 17 global goals. If you Google that 17 global goals, and I'll put a link below, it's things like eliminate third world debt, reduce poverty, increase education, everyone gets access to clean water, and go through those exercises. Some of those goals are massive. They're absolutely enormous, but the human brain is very good at adapting. If you choose just one of those goals and think that's the goal that I wanna work on, it's not overwhelming. You have to just start thinking bigger to be able to make that change. And it might be that changing the way that education is perceived or changing the amount of clean water that the world has access to is not you setting up a billion dollar trust fund. It's creating video content that allows people to understand more about the problem or interviews experts about the problem. The change that you wanna make in the world, it doesn't have to be one of those 17 global goals. It's usually a good framework to understand which way you wanna go or what it is you wanna help people with, but that's what you should be trying to do is change the world, make the world a better place. It doesn't have to be on a global scale but those goals are a good framework to understand where you want to start aiming. If you had to pick one of those goals and let's say we, all the money was taken care of and you didn't have to worry about anything, which one of those goals would you go after? Let me know in the comments below. If this video was useful, I'd love a share and a like and a subscribe and you can hit the bell as well to be notified whenever I create new content and whenever I post a new video. In the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Keep building those funnels.